Back in the office for this vlog and continuing the SEO um, series that I'm doing, I thought I'd take today just the hat. <laughs> you know, I'm not used to being on camera. Like I probably disliked being on camera for a long time, uh, but I put myself out there because that's what you got to do apparently. Um, but it works. It works. I'll talk about that later. Uh, so, anyways, continuing the, the search engine optimization series of the vlog today i wanted to talk about backlinks and what they are first off um if you're if you ever meet with an agency that's the, specifically that does seo work they're going to bring up backlinking and that you have to pay to get a lot of uh, backlinks out there and you need to you need that so your website will rank properly um it is true uh i can't say that they're lying to you it's true you need backlinks um the easiest way to to kind of simplify why a backlink is important is that Google's algorithm and the, the master robot that is Google out there in the world looks at a backlink as if a website is willing to link to you and send a visitor away from their website to yours that means that you must be providing value on your website that's really the core of it if you think about it like that it makes sense if you know, if you think about your own website, if you are, if your website's visit, if your website's visitors are very valuable, and you have a link to another site on that could potentially send a visitor or a customer down another rabbit hole, um, that means that that site you're linking to is valuable. So that's kind of how I explain what why backlinks are so important. Now, what a backlink is, if you didn't catch that from what I just said, is it's basically a link on any site that's not yours that links back to your website. Um, there is one curveball to that, and the link can't have a no follow on it. 99% um, of links out there don't, so it's not something you really have to worry about. But if you are looking into utilizing a platform like Medium, for because Medium ranks very well. If you're not familiar with it, it's a content publishing website where you can actually publish your own articles, and they rank super well. You can't use Medium to send back to send backlink traffic or backlink signals back to your to Google for your website because they have a no follow. So while they rank very well, the link from their site to yours is not really contributing to your, your backlink juice. Um, so that's the curveball, but generally you don't have to worry about that, but I thought I'd get it out of the way. So how to get backlinks. The best way to get backlinks is to partner with people or find directories, find things that are related to your sector and make sure your website's listed on there. Directories are the easy one. Um, the backlink juice from those is, unless they're a big one like Yellow Pages, is usually less. So their quality score is less, which means it's not, it doesn't have as much of an impact um, on Google's algorithm, but uh, they're still good. And that's, that's probably the, where I usually recommend you start is just make sure you're in every directory where a potential customer could be searching for multiple companies that provide what you do. Um, the other thing is news releases, press releases. So yes, it's important. You know, you want to get in the newspaper because there's a mass audience, but that link on their digital version and that, that has a link, or sorry, that article on their digital version that has a link back to your site, it's a very high quality backlink. Um, and then the other thing is just finding bloggers, outreach, uh, um, and finding websites out there that maybe are in direct competition with you in terms of what you do, but talk about the nature of what you do uh, and getting them to write about you and however that looks and making sure they include a link. Um, I think the, the, uh, one of the most important things to not do is to go on Fiverr and buy backlinks. So if you, you'll, you'll notice if you have a website that has a comment section or if you've ever been on a news site or a website that has comments at the bottom of an article, there's a ton of spam in there with links to websites. It's usually like Viagra or some shit. But um, those, uh, those are usually purchased from an offshore team or something. And what they'll say is, you know, for 25 bucks, we'll give you 5,000 backlinks. And you think, oh, that's amazing. 5,000 links back to my site. But because those are spam links, Google's way too smart in 2020. That can actually derank you and penalize your website. So definitely do not buy backlinks in that fashion. If you're going to buy backlinks, you want to uh, buy it from a reputable SEO company that will get you links on like Forbes and big articles and things like that. Um, but yeah, so I generally... 
Backlinks are important. It's important to know how much traffic's coming from these websites, but also how many, how many of them are out there. The better the website, really, the more influence that website has with the backlink to you, the better juice you're gonna get from that backlink with Google. Uh, so definitely make sure backlinking is a part of your strategy. Boom.